Hi, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Gracias por su puntualidad. Thank you very much for your puntuality. Muchas gracias. Vamos a esperar un ratito a sus classmates. Pero thank you for your puntuality. Bueno, ya les escribí ahí, the we're waiting for you. Ya les estamos esperando y aprecio la puntualidad de quienes ya están acá, ¿verdad? Appreciate the puntuality. And I really like that you are here connected with us today, ¿ok? Um, hoy tenemos compu diferente, <ríe> compu más funcional. Así que hopefully no vamos a tener ningún problema. Ya estamos a tiempo. So nothing else is bad, ¿verdad? De momento, todo... Excellent. Everything is excellent. So far, so good. Hasta ahora, todo bien. Si se dice en inglés. So far, so good. Hasta ahora, todo bien. So as I was saying before, good evening. Welcome to the class. We're going to continue with the topics we have been practicing in the platform. But before we start with that, obviously, we're going to go with the attendance. I hope that you are working on the platform and that you're working on the exercises that we have to work, right? I hope that you're doing every exercise. Pero que estarían, estarían haciendo cada ejercicio de los que hemos trabajado, ¿verdad? I really hope so. Now, <clears throat> si tienen dudas, a pesar de que ya los hayamos solventado, ¿verdad? So if you have any questions about them, you can always ask me. But ask me here in the class, when we are here in the class. Because sometimes I'm busy during the day, and I cannot help you during the day sometimes. Because I have one job in the morning. Sometimes I have another in the afternoon. So many things that I have to do. And this is, that's why I'm asking you to be patient and ask me here in the class sometimes. Okay, uh, today, yesterday we were practicing filling out job applications, like job interviews and things like that, right? But now we're gonna continue with a different topic. The topic we have for today is a review and practice of the unit one that we have already um, seen, right? That we saw that we saw the last week and this yesterday and today, okay? But before we start with that, obviously, the first thing we always have to do is go with attendance. Just let me... Give me a second. Give me a second. <coughs> Para ir a su atendance. Your principiant six. Wait a moment. Okay, acá lo tengo ya. Okay, recuerden, remember that you can say present or you can say I'm here. Please turn on your cameras and also turn on your microphones only to say present or to say I'm here, right? Ya sabemos eso. We already know that. Okay, let's go with it. <coughs> Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Okay. Cándida Luz Ortiz de Escalante. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. Okay. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Present. Okay. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Present, Miss. 
Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Fernando Salvador Figueroa Rosales. Present, Miss. Present, Miss. Uh, Eric Reyes. Present. Ok, me confundí un poco. Entonces, Eric Fernando está. Yo también aquí estoy. Ok. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Ok. Jenis Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Sí, mis, este, estaré de oyente. Ok. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan José Oliva Enríquez. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. ¿Dónde está José Alfredo? Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present, Miss. Miguel Ángel Romero Hernández. Present, Miss. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. <coughs> Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, Miss. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. ¿Dónde está Ruth? Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. ¿Dónde está Sandra? Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, Miss. Okay. Bien, me faltan un par el día de hoy. Okay, I don't know what happened. Un par de estudiantes, no vaya a creer que un par de otras cosas, porque ustedes son malos. <laughs> ok, yes. Yeah, so... nah, <laughs> no, a couple of students, a couple of students, un par de estudiantes, no creo otra cosa. Mira, Rafael ahí brindando ya, no, my goodness, no, no, no. De eso no, no. Porque estamos en no, plena pues, semana, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ahí sí. En, por el calor no, no, es más, no es más común que la gente tome este tipo de bebidas para refrescarse. Sí, es bastante ah. común. Sí. Ah, okay. sí, mi abuelo de hecho dice, bueno, me voy a tomar una porque está haciendo calor. Dice o dice, está haciendo frío, me voy a tomar una para agarrar calor. Así que depende de la excusa <risa> que usted le dé al cerebro. <risa> Ahí va a funcionar. It's gonna work. It's just gonna work. A la stability. Yes, ahí va. Depende de lo que uno le diga, ¿verdad? Pero está bien sin exceso. Todo es bueno sin exceso. Porque hasta la comida es mala con exceso, ¿no? It's something that is bad. Everything is bad. Todo es malo en exceso. Ok, so we're gonna go here. Yesterday we were practicing the topic about job applications. And we were doing like job interviews, right? So <clears throat> today I would like to go with an application for employment, okay? But I would like you to fill out this application. Yo voy a querer que ustedes llenen esta aplicación de trabajo. Let me show you what it is. <clears throat> Bye. Is this a job application? This is the job application we have here, okay? What are we going to do is to fill out with information. Si alguien puede tomar un screenshot antes de que empiece a llenar yo este job application y lo manda al grupo para que les quede a ustedes, ¿ok? Bien. End date. ¿Sabemos cómo escribir la fecha en inglés? Yo esperaría que sí. Si no, así se escribiría la fecha, miren. Thank you ahí. <coughs> Un segundo. Las fechas en inglés primero se escribe en español, diríamos que hoy es 25 del 4, pero en inglés decimos que es 4, perdón, que es, yeah, que es 4, 25, porque es April 25th, ¿verdad? And then 2023. <coughs> 
position I apply for. Aquí pueden poner ustedes la position por la que están aplicando. Yo voy a poner teacher. Aquí ponen sus names y aquí ponen sus last names, right? Luego address. La address se escribe tal cual porque no cambia. Así como se llaman las calles en español, así se llaman en English porque es una, son nombres propios. Luego me van a poner acá el phone number de ustedes. If you're going to choose sex that is male or female. Luego la fecha de cumpleaños. Pero de nuevo, el mes se escribe primero. Va a ir month. I mean month, day, <coughs> and year. Okay. Luego vamos a tener acá el social security number. Este, si quieren, cambien algunos números para que no sea exactamente los números suyos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, yo le voy a cambiar el mío. Vale. Ahí le cambié algunos números. Driver's license, si usted tiene licencia de conducir, sí o no. Voy a poner yes. Y aquí vamos a hablar del employment history. ¿Cuál es su historia de trabajo? Por ejemplo, yo pondría 2016-2017. Name of the company. Yo pondría Clearwater Elementary. No cabe todo, pero bueno. Escuela Clearwater. Lo voy a dejar en address también porque es Clearwater era la dirección. Así se llamaba el pueblo. Job title. Yo era teaching assistant. Asistente de docente. Right? That was my job. En duties. ¿Qué tipo de trabajos hacía ahí? Pues muchas cosas. I assisted the teacher. Help. Students, practice, Spanish. Esta es una, ¿verdad? Ah, que acabo de abrir aquí, acabo de abrir una cosa que no quería. Bueno, aquí voy a poner el otro, job listing. Voy a poner 2018-2019. Trabajé para quienes en esa época. I work for Eat Cafe Pade. ¿Dónde era? Santa Tecla. <coughs> ¿Cuál era mi job title? Aquí sí, yo era teacher. Right. Y así, ¿verdad? Pues esto es un ejemplo. Luego aquí pueden ponerme sus eh, estudios. Yo diría que me gradué del, del bachillerato. Me gradué en el 2011. <coughs> Institution sería INU. Date, cuando me gradué, sería December, bueno, sería 12, diciembre, I don't know, it was like 5 o algo, 23, 23, 23, como en el 2011, right? Y así, sucesivamente, y aquí van a poner también, espérense que no sé por qué me ha dado, me parece que sido un cuadrito por aquí, no sé cómo quitarlo, ah, ya lo perfecto. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Entonces van a poner su institución, su grado, su, su grado, lo que han hecho. Okay. Oh, degree obtained, perdón, acá me equivoqué yo. Miren, ya hice aquí mi primer error. <coughs> Dame un momento. Oh, my goodness. Aquí es degree obtained, perdónenme ustedes que me equivoqué. Acá es qué eh, grado obtuvieron. So, en mi case sería high school, pero como yo estudié contador, voy a poner accountant high school. 
I think it's like that accountant. Yes, it's accountant. Accountant high school. So, sería así, ¿verdad? Sería my education. Ok. ¿Entienden lo que van a llenar? ¿Entienden la forma como la van a llenar ahorita? You got it? Yes, miss. Yes, okay. miss. Ok, perfect. Entonces, así como estamos, sin salirnos de aquí de la sala, yo voy a dejar, eh, voy a borrar lo que he puesto. Ustedes si quieren llenarla, eh, tomar screenshot y to llenarla en, de, de, en, en PowerPoint, no sé, en, qué, en Word o en Paint, whatever you want to do it, do it, ¿ok? Acá no compartiendo pantalla, obviamente, porque yo estoy compartiendo la pantalla. Y luego cuando la terminen, no la envíen al grupo, sino que la vamos a usar para la siguiente actividad. ¿Entendemos lo que estamos haciendo? Do we get it? Ok. Si tienen questions, aquí estoy. Solo me voy a parar un minutito porque necesito ir a traer agua, ¿ok? Thank you. Si tienen preguntas, me las dejan en el chat para que les lea cuando ahorita regrese. No manchen sobre la, la pantalla y me parece que Verónica estaba manchando. Voy a borrarle. Ahí sí, borré los dibujos. Ok, questions, me mandan al chat, please.
cualquier cosa que estoy.
Ok, two more minutes, dos minutitos más y empezamos. Bueno, empezamos. So what are we going to do? Vamos a ir a hacer el juego otra vez de interviewers and interviews, ¿verdad? Los entrevistadores y las personas que entrevistan. Ahora vamos a pedir, por ejemplo, si yo, usted ya tiene esa información, a mí me sale más fácil darla, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto a, vamos a empezar con María Julia. María Julia, uh, what is the position you apply for? Uh, general account. Okay, accountant. Accountant. Okay, what is your name? My name is Maria Julia Olivar. Okay, what is your address? My address is Colonia La Gloria, Mexica, Mexicana. Okay, Mexico. Colonia Mexicana, right? What is your phone number? Um, Seven night three night zero two night. Pero para confirmarlo, dígamelo de nuevo. Solo para confirmarlo, lo voy a mandar al chat y así todos lo van a hacer también para que, pues, cuando estemos en las salas, podemos corroborar que estamos escuchando bien. Dígamelo de nuevo, María Julia. Seven. Uh -huh. um, seven night. Three, night, zero, zero, okay, oh, zero, two, night, eight. Así? Sí. Excelente, mm -hmm. okay. So, again, now pregunto acá. Um, what is your date of birth? ¿Cuál es su fecha de nacimiento? Um... Mayo, 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 um, 16, 16, May 16, May 16, and, um, como se dice mil, 200, 100, 100, 90, eh, Vaya, para decir las fechas grandes, María Julia, hay una forma fácil y es que dividamos el número grande en dos números pequeñitos. Entonces usted nació, digamos, en el 19, tanto. Por ejemplo, yo nací en el 1994, puedo decir uh -huh. 1994, right? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería su año de nacimiento? Uh, 19, 19, 
1970. Uh -huh. Okay, así fácil. Okay, thank you, María Julia. Gracias por ayudarnos, ¿verdad? Okay. So, that's the example. Ven cómo vamos a hacer el example de la actividad. Ahora, cuando llegamos a la parte donde dice employment history, vamos a preguntar, what is the date of your employment? What is the name of the company? What is the address? What is the job title? What was the duties? Okay. Luego igual con el degree obtained. Vamos a ir preguntando a nuestros classmates. Is it just like a practice? Vieron como a María Julia al inicio como que le estaba costando ahí, ¿verdad? Y nos toca como pensar un poco, pero eso es para que agilicemos. This, our mind can be fast when we think, okay? So we're going to do that activity. Do we understand the activity we're doing? You got it? Yes. Okay, perfect. So you're going to make questions and answers. Questions and answers basados en la job application. Okay, that's it. Tengo de oyente a <coughs> Jenis. Tengo de oyente a Candy. Eh, tengo de oyente a Sandra y Ramiro. Dicen que no pueden participar, ok. Ok. Voy a intentar que no vayan a las mismas salas estas personas entonces. Okay, ahí vamos. Let's go. Ahí les envío las invitaciones y nos podemos unir Johnny, Verónica, Fernando. Johnny, ¿está de oyente? Seven, seven, two, nine, zero, one, seven, eight. What about your, your sex? <laughs> Male. Every day. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Okay. Date of birth? Every day, all the time. <laughs> And the colita, Emma, si no sabe. <laughs> Date of beard? Date of uh, March 
interesante. Ok. Vale, yo sé de aquí que, bueno, Clelia ha puesto de oyente ahí, aunque no me había confirmado. Jenny se está de oyente y Sandra. Aquí está Miguel, está Julio, está Ana Verónica. Sí, aquí estamos. Julio, no sé si... Hola, Julio. Oh. Mm, no sé si nos consultamos sobre la application for employment. Ok. Va. What's your name? My name is Julio. Ok. Uh, 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 full name, Julio. Tégale el full name. <laughs> ¿Hola? No, que le diga el full name, le digo, porque así está en la job application. Ok. Full name. Eh, what's your name, Julio? What's your name? <laughs> My name is Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Eh, vamos a ver. Eh, where were you born? I was born. Es un salvador. Eh, when were you born? You qué? What? When were you born? Date. Ah, uh, a date. December 29th, 1982. Okay. What is your phone number? Six. Six, three. One o oh, o oh, seven o oh, four. Okay. What is your address? My address is Colonia Los Cerritos, huh? Calle Central, uh -huh. Del Juan Lourdes Colón. What is your sex? Male of four. Okay. Eh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Hey, ya casi para que porque si no van a, a poner cero en conducta. Ya tengo, ya tengo, ya finish. Por hito. I'm finished. Yes. Finish. Yes, I finish. Okay, who is start? Uh, ¿Cómo formularle una pregunta? You know, in, in, in okay. Yo lo que entendí que ya iba, alguien va preguntando y otro va contestando en base a la información que llenó. Si quieren preguntar. Date. Of pregunte, que pregunte Rafael. ¿Qué, okay, Rafael? Ok, ok. ¿A eh, quién? ¿Quién empezamos? Escoge, escoge a quién le va a preguntar, Rafael. A Verónica, ya que está ahí con ah, unos okay. ánimos excelentes. Okay, do it. I'm ready. Easy. easy. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, hi, Veronica. Hi, Rafael. Diploma. Cursando logistic en Instituto de Comercio. 2015. Okay. Thank you. No sé si algo otro van a seguir. No sé quién es el oyente. No, no sé. Okay. And, no sé quién me va a acompañar. Blanca ¿No? le respondió. Ah, ok. Si gusta, comienza este y luego cambiamos. Ok. Um, application for employment. Employment. What is your position? Apply, apply for? 
accounting assistant. What what did you name? What position I play for? My position is a senior tax compliance. What's your address? My address is Avenue Carlos Bonilla. ¿Cómo se diría barrio? Barrio, Calvario. Sí, yeah, eh, barrio es porque es un address o así como tal. Okay. ok, barrio El Calvario, neighborhood, Los no Santos. What's your phone number? What you? Your phone number.
Thank you, Carlos. Okay, so we're gonna continue here in the class. And um, thank you for doing the job application form. <clears throat> also, remember when I send you to the breakout rooms, you have two working groups, right? That's, that's the main activity, working groups. And also, don't wait for me to go to the breakout room to start doing the activity <laughs> because sometimes when I get to the breakout room, you're like, okay, okay, so we should start. We, uh, who starts? And you start asking, ¿Quién empieza? ¿Quién no sé qué? Que ahí entré una, una break room y me dijeron, ¿Quién empieza? Y yo, ¿Cómo que quién empieza? <laughs> You're just starting, se están empezando la actividad. Justo la estaban empezando. So, no. Remember, this is activity, this are, these activities are for you to practice, for you to improve, para mejorar, and for you to, I don't know, recognize and get involved with the topics, okay? So that's very important for you to do. Now, here in the manual, we have another activity that is a reading activity. Uh, let me see. So last class, last class, I mean last module, we did an activity like this. I told you that we were going to practice a reading activity. And then you have to understand what you are reading not only to read, but to understand what you're reading, okay? So I'm gonna read this reading for you twice. The first time I'm gonna read it slow, and the second time I'm gonna read it not fast, but are, as you are supposed to read, right? Not like in the schools when you're reading little pieces of paper and you're like, Ay, yo voy a hablarles ahora sobre los ciclos del agua, no, verdad, no es una lectura así. So this is a more complex reading and you're gonna read as you are supposed to be reading in English, okay? Let's go here. Number one, be a people person. Norxod is people and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motiv motivate your team. Motivate, you can say motivate, but motivate sounds better. Motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial team, okay? So, aquí les dijo que si son mejores con computadoras y entendiendo Klingon, que es este, the science fiction language, eh, no sería un buen fit para ese managerial position. Number two, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including facial presentations, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees and their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customers and provide status information when asked. Asked. No asked, ¿verdad? No, no es asked, es asked. Asked. Number three, be technically proficient. The products we create at Noxor, Norx, Norxor, Norxor are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C, C number, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no, having watched Happy Feet or The March of Penguins, 
does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. Eso lo entenderían las personas que han trabajado con Linux. Que dice que no porque han visto la película de, de pingüinos. Significa de que son buenos en Linux. Right? Por el logo. Number four. Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at NorxOd. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at Norxo for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Number five, lead by example. The best managers lead by example at Norxo. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be av available pardon, and to be available to give guidance and help when needed leading by example means working late sorry working late and on weekends with your employees parking with your employees and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead, 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 instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Okay. Excellent. Now, I'm going to read it one more time. Les voy a mandar audio para que tengan la lectura. Recuerden que hacer lectura, reading, esto les va a ayudar a ustedes. Aquí están ustedes. Okay. Be a people person. Norxod is people. And we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial team. Les voy a mandar cada punto separado para que no se haga muy largo ese audio. Así escuchen cada punto en específico. <coughs> Number two, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including facial presentations, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customers and provide status information when asked. Okay. Number three, be technically proficient. The products we create at Norxod are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C number, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no, having watched Happy Feet or the March of Penguins does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. Number four, encourage teamwork. 
teamwork is important at Norsot. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you, sh you are considered, ah, okay. encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at Norsot. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at Noruxod for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Number five, lead by example. The best managers lead by example at Norksod. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be available to give guidance. Guide. Me equivoqué, sorry. To give guidance. Ven, hasta para mí es complicado. Number five, lead by example. The best managers lead by example at Norxod. All managers are required to dress and act professional at all times and to be available to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Bueno, a mí me costó. It was difficult some words for me. Like when speaking fast or when joining the words, so that was something difficult. But here's the thing. You need to read as many times as you need it to be good at reading. O sea, vamos a hacer una práctica de lectura ahorita. Si no hacen la práctica de lectura, no vamos a ser buenos en práctica de lectura. ¿Ok? Esta lectura que yo acabo de leer aquí es tan fácil comparada a las que vienen en el examen TOEFL. My goodness. Si ustedes en algún momento quieren hacerse el TOEFL para comprobar la eh, eficiencia de su English, English Professions, you're going to see. This is nothing compared to it. ¿Ok? So, as we are improving all the skills, skills, ¿saben qué son skills? Habilidades. Habilidades. As we are improving all the skills, one of the most important skills is reading. Remember that English is based on four macro skills. English está basado en cuatro macro habilidades. Speaking, listening, writing, and reading, right? So reading, reading is very important. This is an activity where we are going to read and also not only reading, escuchando los audios, pueden escuchar audio, pueden escuchar el primer audio, todos leen el primer punto. Escuchan el segundo audio, todos leen el segundo punto. Escuchan el tercer audio, todos leen el tercer punto. You can do that, but it's not only that, it's also that you need to understand what you are reading. Necesitan entender qué es lo que están leyendo. ¿Se entiende la actividad que vamos a hacer? Si alguien quiere tomar screenshot, puede hacerlo, nada más que... Vamos a hacerlo en dos partes. This is the first part. No sé por qué no me... Si están mandando nuevos chats, no me deja leerlos. No sé por qué. ¿Qué le está pasando a esto? El último chat que me aparece es el de Ramiro. Y nada. Ok, voy a mandar el siguiente. Y ahí está la siguiente parte. Solo es el number five lo que faltaba. Ok. So you can send those screenshots to the WhatsApp group. Remember, pueden hacerlo, leer todo, si quieren. Oh, you can do. Just listen to the first audio, read the first reading, todos. Leen, and, y, y busquen comprender, ¿verdad? Como ha enten, entendido qué significa, and things like that, right? De veras no puedo leer mensajes. Si me están mandando mensajes a Zoom, mejor escríbanme en WhatsApp porque aquí no me están cayendo los mensajes. I don't know why. Okay. ¿Entendemos la actividad que vamos a hacer? Do we get the activity? Yes, Perfect. Yes. Let me see. A ver si, si ahora se hago más sabiamente.
Ok, ahí estamos. Let's go. Okay, number three. Be technically profic proficient. The products we create at Noxorf are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C, but you should be able to read technical items and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no, Helen watches happy with or need to be able to code 
in C. But you should be able to give able. to be able to be able to give technical guidance. And to be able, no, perdón, pero no es to be able, es to be able. Able. To be able. <laughs> to be able. To give. Pero vamos a compartir con todo y el audio, lo voy a compartir. Ahora... Ajá, porque yo no puedo compartir audio. María Julia. Hola. Hi. Hi. ¿Con quién más está participando? Ah, con, en el grupo number three. Sí, pero está, ah, está Rafael compartiendo, ok. Sí. Porque el único de este grupo que me ha pedido permiso para estar de oyente es Candy, ¿verdad? Es que está tratando de compartir audio. Ok, ahí está ya. Yes. Okay. Yo ahorita ya lo comparto con todo el audio ya. Por favor, please. Sí, we're... My God. Sí, we're important at Oxford. Not only are you required to encourage the best practice for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have two doors at Norfolk for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Required. 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 Yes. Okay, thank you, teacher.
Hello, Ruth. Hello, Miss. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Se acaba de conectar Sorry. o ya estaba? Perdón. Se acaba de conectar. Sí, ahorita. Es que no estaba y hasta ahorita voy llegando. No pude ni avisar, lo siento. Ok, no worries. Uh, ahorita sus compañeros están trabajando en los break rooms haciendo esta lectura, ok? Así que okay. le voy a mandar a un break room. Está bien, gracias. Ok, let's go to number one. Ahí está.
Okay, so we're gonna choose some people to read this. Okay, the first person, vamos a elegir a, let me see. Um, Blanca, please read number one. Okay, number one, be a people person. North so is people and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for our man managerial team. Ok, solo vamos a repetir eh, la palabra comfortable, comfortable, ahorita aquí, comfortable, comfortable, y vamos a repetir la palabra better, 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 better. con e, better, blanca, Better. Y luego la otra sería managerial team. Managerial team. ¿Ok? Bueno, ya no la escuché. Vamos a ir con la persona number two. Vamos a elegir a Shoni. Ok, Miss. Okay. Number two. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, tele teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communica communication is to great street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customer and provide status information when asked. Excellent, good job. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Miss. Vamos ahora con... A ver, quiero verlos a todos. Vamos a ir con... Rafael Martínez, help me with number three, Rafael. Number three, be technically proficient. The product we create at Northsot are technically complicated. You don't need to able to call in C numbers, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and method for success. And not having watching Happy Feet or the, or the March of the Penguins does not qualify. You have a technical proficient in Linus. Okay, excellent. Vamos a repetir nada más. ¿Cuál era? Uh, guidance. Guidance. Okay, guidance, guidance. success, 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 yes, and yes. I think yes. it's penguins, 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 okay, thank you very guidance. much, Rafael, guidance, success, and penguins, yes, good job, thank you, vamos a ir ahora con, <coughs> Ana Verónica, Ana, help me please with number four, please. Four, and encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at not sure. Not only are you required uh, to encourage the best practice for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at not sure for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. 
you are required to sit and work with your staff. Good job. Thank you very much. Vamos con... Vamos a ver, alguna voz que no haya escuchado el día de hoy. Voice that I didn't hear today. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, 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 ah. Esta última, ¿verdad? La five. Vamos a ir entonces con... Jocelyn. Number five, please, Jocelyn. Ok. Lead by example. The best, the best manager lead by example at Noxor. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be available to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right things. That was really good. Thank you. Excellent. Good job. Okay. So, vamos a darle un aplauso a todos los que participaron. That was really good. Estuvo muy, muy bien, de hecho. So, excellent. Good job. You did a really, really good job. Y miren, so the only thing that you're going to improve your reading, your pronunciation, your speaking, and your listening is by practicing. Nada más mágico puede pasar, ¿ok? Nada. De hecho, <coughs> ayer estaba hablando acá eh, con mi esposo y me, me dice él que él no me cree que yo era mal en inglés. Él no me cree. Él dice, ¿cómo te voy a creer si ahora sos tan buena? Yo, pero era mala. I was really bad. Era muy, muy, muy mala. Lo peor que se puedan imaginar así, del inglés así todo macheteado y todo. O sea, una vez llegó un licenciado donde yo estaba, se me quedó viendo y me dijo, you're a mess. Y se fue. ¿Saben qué significa la frase que me dijo? Desastre. ¿No? Exactly, miren, Julio lo supo Y yo en el momento solo me quedé viendo Y me puse a reír ja, ja, ja. Y después le pregunté a mi compañera que era la más inteligente ¿Qué dijo? Que sos un desastre Y yo, ah, no, pues sí Pero no me lo hubiera dicho <ríe> So yeah, I was a disaster I was a mess I was a mess So, he told me No, a mess Que era un desastre Y de hecho ah. después cuando regresé de Estados Unidos, fue uno de los que me contrató. Trabajé para una academia de inglés que él tenía, después de haberme dicho un mes, ¿verdad? Pero, I don't know, you change. If you practice, the only thing that you have to do is practice and practice and practice and practice. Parece mentira, pero a veces al inicio yo tenía pesadillas con el inglés. Soñaba con palabras y me tenía que despertar a anotarlas, porque si no, no me podía dormir. So it was really bad. O sea, me costó que el inglés entrara acá. So the same thing to you. And I'm really proud. Me siento muy orgullosa. Déjenme decirles eso. Porque acabo de escuchar varias eh, pronunciations que estuvieron on point. They were really good pronunciations. Y a ver, esto les ayuda más a ustedes que a mí. Right? Because this is your dream. This is your uh, goal. Tal vez es su goal de este año. Or something that you want to achieve. But remember, you need to practice in order to achieve your goal. Your goal. That's the only thing that you need to do. Okay, now we're going to answer some questions of true and false based on the reading that we just did. Okay, now here we have it. We have five sentences and we need to identify if they are true or if they are false. Let's go with the first ones. I'm going to help you only with the first one and the, on, the other ones we're going to answer. Okay. Oh. It is more important to manage system than people. Is it true or is it false? Depende, Miss. In this job position? Ah, manage system. It's true. true or false? True. True. False. I think false. 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 Yeah, it is false. Why is it false? Because at the beginning it said, if you're better know. with computers 
Algo así dice, ¿verdad? If you're better with computers and people, something, something, right? So you're going to do the other uh, four. We're going to do them in the breakout rooms pretty fast, va a ser rápido. Then we come back here. Le voy a pedir que lean toda la oración y que me digan si es true or if it is false, okay? Le voy a preguntar también qué entendieron de la lectura. I'm going to ask you what you understand, understood about the reading. Understood, okay? Let me see. Let's go. Ah, se pueden mandar, voy a compartir de todas formas la pantalla en todas las salas. And, and we, have, we have to say it's false or true. I don't a know. I don't 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 know.
Okay, let's read an answer. Number one, we did it already. Number two, help me, Ruth Asensio. Number two, please read it and tell me if it is true or false. Pero lo lee y me dice si es verdadero o falso. Ah, ok. Perdón. Eh, to be a great communicator, one... One should use as many tools as possible. Okay. It's true. Okay. Okay. Aquí dice, to be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible, right? Let's go with Jacobo. Number three, please. Okay. Uh... ¿Jacobo? Se me había cerrado el Zoom. Ya tú. Ok. okay. Eh, number three, in order to be technical proficient, did one's opinion is no. Is false. 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 Ok. Eh, the, repeat, proficient. Proficient. Technically. Technic, technically. Technically proficient. Technically proficient. Okay, thank you. Let's go now with Veronica Burgos. Okay, number four for me. Yeah. Encourage, encouraging teamwork is as important as being part of the team. Oh my God. We put through. True. It is true. Okay. Repeat. Encourage. Encouraging. En encourage. Enco encouraging. Encourage. Encouraging. Okay. Thank encourage you. Encourage teamwork. Rafael Antonio Hernandez. Okay. If you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekend off. False. False. Okay. So it's, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that participated and gave me the answers. Now remember, what it says there, it was if you are a manager, you have to work as hard as your team. There are no privileges for uh, like anything you do. You need to be as the other ones. So I'm going to ask you, uh, what did you understand about the reading? So I'm going to ask some people right now what they understood in their own words about the reading. OK, OK, Lean, literally what it says there, but to understand and to know what you understood about the reading. Now we're going to start first with Carlos. Can you tell me what you understood about the reading, please? is very important for nerves so uh, because uh, the technical profession for the the, the, the fact is is a piece important for the company uh, including the manager the example he worked in and to hand the ring. Mm -hmm. That's it? That's it. Okay, thank you, Carlos, thank you. Yes, so managers have to be the example, right? Let's go with <laughs> Jose Alfredo. What did you understand about the reading? Mm. 
algún número en específico o, o todo? No, like in general, what did you understand? Ok. Eh... I, I, I understand. Uh -huh. eh, eh, que todo. Ay, ah, English. Ah, <laughs> ah ok. Try eh, to put it in words. Eh, vamos a ver, va. Porque va. No me quiero complicar. Eh, al 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 works uh -huh. eh, is important eh, eh, cómo se pronuncia acá cómo se pronuncia qué eh, 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 en cada eh, in es que every 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 Uh, every department and the role sigue siendo el rol. No. The role keeps on being the role. El, el, el rol de las personas. The uh -huh. the uh, role is still the, the role. role in the the role in the person is the same. In the same, uh -huh. it, 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 it's the same. Okay. Yes. Thank okay. you, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's sometimes it's complicated. I know. The thing is, like, if you try to speak in English, you said this in es que yo en mi mente hablo perfect English, right? But when you have to speak, and look, this is very important. Also, it happens to me, okay? When I'm speaking to you, I'm really confident because I know I know English, so I can speak. Sometimes I make some mistakes because Spanish is my first language. English is my foreign language. But you should look at me when I'm speaking to Native American English speaking speakers. I'm like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, and I'm like that when I speak to people who speak English and who were born like when grew up speaking in English I don't know what I speak maybe I think I sound like Sofia Vergara because I make so many mistakes when I'm speaking with them cuando yo hablo con personas de Estados Unidos I, o sea me pongo tan nerviosa uh, like I get so nervous like oh y se van a dar cuenta que no hablo inglés y ellos no todo está bien lo pronuncias muy bien y según yo Yo hablo, I speak like this and I don't find the words to speak with them. And I, I don't know, that happens. Así que es normal que ustedes se pongan nervous. I know it's normal. I know it's pretty normal. You, you feel like stressful and, and things like that. But what you have to do is to practice. Practice, 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 practice. And you are going to get perfect at speaking English, okay? I just want to confirm the, <clears throat> the attendance. Okay, so let's go. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Okay. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Candida Luz Ortiz de Escalante. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Present. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Present, Miss. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present, Miss. Fernando Salvador Figueroa Rosales. Present, Miss. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Jenis Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan Josué Oliva Enríquez. Present, present. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Belgar. Present. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present. Miguel Ángel Romero Hernández. Present, Miss. 
Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Ok. Ruth uh, Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present, okay. Miss. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present. Present, Miss. Ok. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. En Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, Miss. Ok. That will be it for today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Ok. Ok. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Have a see, good you night. see you tomorrow. Take yeah. care. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Good night.